Hey everyone, this is Cindy and I'm still cleaning off my desk even though I have told myself it's useless to try to think I'm ever going to get it completely cleaned off because I keep adding stuff to it. I did add a bookshelf behind me which meant I had to pull stuff from other places to put on it and that meant I found a bunch of stuff I'd forgotten about. Uh, so I've been trying to at night kind of finish up some projects I had started and, and, and abandoned. So um, it's kind of getting to the point where like I gotta, if I want to do another journal, I just got to start it, right? But one thing I wanted to do, since this book was on my desk, um, just cause I put it there. So that's why it was on my desk. It was stacked up somewhere else. I've got threads everywhere here. Um, anyway, it's a dictionary, a beginning dictionary. It has a lot of pictures in it. So I thought I had made these faux stamps or started them from um, bits of wallpaper that I had scraps, you know, left on my desk. So I thought I would go through here and see if I can find any pictures to finish them off. This one, I found a picture of like a Capitol building with um, stars behind them. And I tried to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Uh, but I don't want to get too um, zoomed in where I'm off uh, frame. But anyway, um, that one's kind of done because I went ahead and stamped it just to see what it looked like. So I like that yellow. So anyway, I pulled, the, opened the dictionary just to look. And like at the very first, uh, it's talking about pronunciation and all that stuff, which I probably should read through again. I'm trying to learn it some more. It had some good pictures. Uh, well, I thought it did. So yeah, like right here, here's some a couple of birds, a ship, and um, a teepee and all that. So I thought, yes, definitely I want the bird ones. So I think I'm, I should have thought of this before. What am I going to cut them with or tear them with? Um, my deckle scissors would be good, but they're off on vacation right now, so I'm not sure where they went. So, well, we'll just use some regular scissors. Oh, up, 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 up. here they are. They must have been on their way back. Okay. So this way it's just a little bit decorative around it, but I don't have to just uh, worry about tearing all around these little pieces. So let's see if we can find, I should have thought of that before I cut out one that it would fit on. Here, this one will it'll fit on that one. So, okay, what I want to do is just ink around it a little bit. And this is frayed burlap and I just picked it because it's kind of brown and it's pretty juicy so and my dauber is also going on <laughs> gone on vacation it's probably in my drawer with I mean really digging through my drawer with inks and stuff so it's probably got abandoned down there so let me grab something to glue on so I had that shelf behind me which number one I had two rolling carts behind me and that shelf takes up a whole lot of space so now my chair doesn't um, knock into stuff while I'm, if I turn around. And then that shelf, of course, gives me a lot of room on the back to put stuff. Like all my ephemera folders I had over to the side here, I've moved back there, so it just gives me more room to expand my project. Okay, something else I should have had uh, day out before I, oops, sorry, started this was my, um, here it is, postage meter stamp. And I have more than one, but that's just the one I keep on a, um, acrylic block so it, get used, it gets used most of the time and at the bottom here is a kind of like a faux stamp as well so just kind of do the whole thing and it's not very juicy though well I got more on my background paper than that okay so anyway <laughs> it definitely looks like it's gone through the post office with all the stamping on it so that's two done and I'm going to finish all of these, so I'm just going to keep looking for pictures and keep gluing them on, and I will try to find a better stamp pad. I think this one's better, so that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to see, get this other bird here. Get his name. And I'll take these two bird ones stamps and put in my... Uh, tub that has all my bird stuff for journals so I'll have it with the birds this is not this is so flimsy okay once again I didn't look for one that where it will fit so this this should fit okay on that it doesn't matter if it goes over the background um, I guess I glued it with this 
So anyway, I've got um, a journal I'm going to do. It's a three ring, five ring binder, and it's going to be botanical flowers. I'm just going to say flowers, garden theme. Um, I have a bunch of stuff I want to use, and I'm going to um, just have that binder handy, and as I go through stuff, I'm going to put it in there. So. <laughs> Um, it's kind of like a stash busting thing. I've got a lot of stuff already pre-made, so I don't think it'll take me long. Famous last words, right? Okay, so anyway, I need skinnier items. Here's a candle. Let's see, was there anything else on here? I don't like the ship. I don't make the ship work on one of these. It's a frigate. Okay. And then I'll just leave this in here for some other time. He should fit there fairly well. So is anyone else working on uh, scraps? You guys working on journals? Working on organizing your stuff? <laughs> I keep working up fabric and then going and buying more scraps of fabric, so what do you say? I should just glue all these and then stamp them all at once, so. This one I tried doing some stamping on, uh, a little leaf thing and a little flower. I don't know if you can see that. It wasn't very bright and I was afraid it smudged. See, even after 24 hours it smudges. So it's just gonna be the background. Okay, let's see. There's a, it's not quite a bee, but you can pretend like it's a bee. And then once again, I'm just going to cut off the words so that it's not a B. And let me cut around it a little better. A little closer so you can kind of see some of the background of the stamp. There we go. And it can be kind of flying onto that flower that smudges. Let's distress it. So I could stamp another flower or if I find a little flower I can put it on there as well and um, yeah so I got two ready to do the stamping I don't need this glue I'm not using it okay all right what else um, there's another bird I could make one go sideways pheasant I like that buffalo too. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the buffalo up. I'm using him. I'm saving stuff um, to do an Oklahoma journal. And um, I think the buffaloes are state animal. Is that right? I think. Anyway, even if it isn't, uh, I worked for a school system, the Hugo Buffaloes, for like 28 years. So I like buffaloes. Okay, let's get the pheasant done. See if we can find one for the buffalo. He's a little bigger, maybe right here. Put him in this one. I'll put him on this big one. Okay. Ink him up. So anyway, the dictionaries are a great source of little mini pictures that you can work. 
I use for different things and uh, all sorts of sorts. Because see, this is just at the front where it's talking about how to pronounce words. If I were to get an actual dictionary, uh, they have a bunch too. Um, oh, the girl's reading a book. I'm keeping that. I'm collecting all sorts of things on books and reading. So that's fun. Fun to find that. Okay. So speaking of that, if I looked up the word book, which have a picture. There's a ball print. No. What? How can they not have a picture of a book? Okay, so let's see. I don't really want bugs. They always have a lot of bugs. Here's a little dog though. Dog, a beagle, do that. Let's just get him. Find one that'll go on. He'll go on that. Cover this up for now. Beagle go on that. I need four more. Okay. Let's see what we can find. There's a bicycle, a baby. There's another buffalo. It's American bison this time. Ooh, the blue jay is cool. Let's use him. Okay. Put him on this smaller one. It's a bobolink, not a bob white. Okay. There's a Pioneer Lady. I'm going to use her because one of these days I'm going to do a Pioneer theme journal. I'm collecting stuff for it. It's a little bitty picture. Oop, a little bitty. In fact, maybe I can find something to go with her. Yeah, she's tiny. Okay. More ships. There's some broccoli plant. A bucket. How about that bucket to go with that lady? There's the bumblebee. We'll get him too. Let's go with the bucket. Butterfly. Very good. Bumblebee. Butterfly. It's half about half life size as it is. So it's an informative stamp. Okay. So there's our pictures. Let's close this out. Scoot it over. Move this over and let's start gluing stuff down. Start with these two. Okay, that scraps in my way. Wallpaper coming at me. Okay, we'll just put her top center and the bucket afterwards. That's ready. Oops, I didn't ink them. Forgot to ink them. Okay, we'll get the rest of them. So every bit of this is just made from pretty much scraps, except for the focal points, which this dictionary was over there being forgotten. So it's a good thing we put it to use. stuff on. Glue the beagle on. Stick it to my page. And the blue 
the J. Tell I was in the bees. Beagle, blue jay, bumblebee, and butterfly. And I guess it was bonnet and bucket. Okay. Up. Set that aside. Take this off. Fold it over. Now we're going to stamp all these with the metery thing. Here it is. I kind of lost where I had it. I was thinking it was higher up. Oops. Okay. Now we'll do these. Oops, run over her face. Oh well. It's the way life is in the post office. Keep missing it. <laughs> okay. All right. Other than the poor lady's face, I think we did pretty good. Um, yeah. Both stamps ready to go. I'm going to pull the ones, the B ones. That goes to Oklahoma. That's the Pioneer. There's another one that looks like a B. Butterfly, bird, 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 and then just general things with that. Okay, so I'm going to put these in the um, tubs that go with these themes, and then I'm going to start on my next project. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.